Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you guys a couple tips that I use myself to help me balance running a social media account or running social media accounts and being a full-time student as well. As some of you guys may or may not know, I currently have this YouTube channel, I have a vlog channel, I have an Instagram page, I have three actually. One of them is my personal one, one of them is my main Apples and Amanda's one, and then another one is a joint account that I have with my boyfriend that is more fitness oriented. So I have a lot of platforms and areas that I am managing every single day as well as being a full-time student. I'm currently taking 23 units right now, which may seem like a lot. How exactly do I manage all of these different assets of my life? I have brainstormed a couple, a lot of things that I would like to share with you guys that maybe you can use in your own practice. I hope that these little tips will be useful for you. These are things that I personally use that I have been using for the past two or three years to grow my social media to where it is right now. So hopefully it'll help you guys. So tip number one, I always, always, always mention this every time anybody has a question in my Q&As, you know, how do I stay productive? Keep a planner. I am a visual kinesthetic learner. You can easily put things in your phone and your calendar if that works out for you, but I need to write it down physically for me to actually remember it and have this thing where I can constantly look back and forth and say, okay, I got this done, now I need to go on to the next thing. Keeping a planner is so essential for knowing the things that you want to get done in the day or in the week or in the month. And so having something like this where I can write down everything that I need to do and also like plan out my day is very essential for me to stay organized and stay on top of my stuff. Otherwise, there's just a lot of white space where I could I could be doing something, but I also could be taking a nap. What should I be doing right now? And then that's time wasted because there's only so much time that you have during the day. In my planner, I plan out my day. So I keep a schedule and I write down literally from six in the morning to when I go to sleep at night, what I want to do. And this isn't a for sure thing. This isn't a, you have to do it. And if you don't, then you're a failure. It's more like a daily plan for myself. Chances are, if you write that down, 75% of the time you're gonna be able to do all the things that you have. I used to not write daily schedules before I got this planner, which is a best self planner, which I did talk about before in a couple of other videos, which is like a goal oriented planner and it helps you like plan out your day better. But I used to not write my daily schedule because I thought that it would be overwhelming. I thought that it would set up too much too many expectations for myself. But once I let go of the fact that I needed to get everything done or else I'm a failure um, and just set that out for me like, hey, wouldn't it be fun if we could just do all these things in a day according to the schedule? I started to become more productive and got more of the things done that I need to do. In my planner, whenever I have an idea, whenever something pops up in my head that I want to do, I write it down right away. Don't rely on your memory to bring you to do the tasks that you need to do write it down right away. Don't trust your brain because chances are you will forget. And along with keeping a daily schedule, I like to also plan out my weeks and plan out my months. I like to dedicate certain days that I will be filming a certain video or all day on Friday is going to be my work day and then Saturday I'll be able to relax. I like to plan ahead. That way I know what I'm doing and where I'm dedicating my time to because that is so important. Again, we only have 24 hours in a day and so it is vital to use all the productive hours in your day for the things that you want to get done. So I've already talked about this in the first tip, which is keeping a planner, but basically keep your priorities straight. As a student, please know school always comes first. For me, I have to constantly remind myself, okay, either study, edit a video, like which one do I want to do? Obviously, I would love to edit a video more because I really enjoy editing videos and that's where I feel very creative, but I also know that my purpose here at school in this apartment is to get a degree. It's to study hard and learn. And so that is my number one priority. Anything else falls behind going to school. So it's really important to just remind yourself, you know, I need to do all my school stuff first, that's most important, and then I can go on and manage my social media as well. Sometimes you won't get to post that video. Sometimes you won't get to post that Instagram photo. And that is okay because you are putting school first. And I think that's a really important thing to remember is to prioritize your education. And remember that 
you know, that's the reason why you're here at school. If you ever have to choose between your creative outlet versus school and studying and you choose school and studying, use a reward system. I always do this. I'm like, if I study for my exercise physiology class for two hours, then I will allow myself to go into my creative workspace. And it's kind of funny because it kind of sounds like if I do work, then I get to do more work. But the thing about handling social media accounts for me is that I truly enjoy it. This is what is fun to me. And so to me, that's my reward. You're going to have to see social media influencing and work behind the scenes as fun. You're going to have to see all of that as something you truly enjoy. Otherwise, you know, what are you doing it for? For priorities, know that there are going to be some things that you are going to have to give up. For example, I don't go out that much. I go to school, I study, I edit videos, I post them, I work out, I try to learn as much information as possible so I can share it with you guys. I'm constantly doing things that help me expand my work and help me go into my passion of sharing information and influencing you guys even more. Know that there are going to be some things like that that you won't be able to get as much time for and that also includes mindlessly scrolling through Instagram, laying down on your bed and snapchatting all of your friends, watching YouTube videos on YouTube videos, watching Netflix shows. I do talk about watching Netflix shows myself and documentaries and stuff. It's mostly like my break time, my downtime that I set aside specifically for when I have finished the work that I wanted to do or when I'm trying to relax for a little bit. I can't tell you the last time that I just sat down and binge watched. I could watch one episode and get to work and then watch another episode and get to work. Like the TV show will always be there, but the time that you have to put into growing your social media and putting time into that creative outlet is not always going to be there. In saying this, know that there is a difference between sacrificing your time and the things that you love to do and prioritizing the things that you want to do. You don't have to give up going out with your friends forever and ever. It's just all about creating a balance for yourself. This is my work time, this is my workspace, and this is when I'm going to go out with my friends. A lot of the times I have to say no, but there are times when I do say yes because I know that it is important for my mental health to get out there and do something that is not work related or school related. Again, it's important to keep your balance but also to know your priorities. <laughs> This aspect is so important because this is what is going to drive you through those long nights, those long days, those stressful hours of work basically because a lot of it is like work. Ask yourself, how much do you care about your platform? How much do you care about the message that you're spreading? How bad do you want what you are working toward? Why are you doing what you're doing? What drives you? Who inspires you? What motivates you? Does getting up in the morning, going to class, studying, and then going to do your social media work or doing your social media work in between excite you? Do you truly love it or are you just doing it for the followers and for fame? Know why you are doing what you're doing, what your motivation is and if you're truly following your passion because I can assure you if you are not truly passionate about a message that you are trying to spread on your platforms it's not gonna work out if you are here to try to gain more followers so you can sell some things so you can make money it's not gonna work out for you have a higher purpose know what your higher purpose is know what you absolutely love so that you can spread that and share that with other people for example I I'm extremely passionate about veganism, but not only veganism, but what it can bring to a person. I'm passionate about the fact that it can help your mindset, it can help your relationship with yourself and your food, it can help your body heal in ways unimaginable. And those are the things that I aim to share and spread to all of the people following me on my platforms because I think that is a really important concept and an important idea for everybody to understand. And I work so hard because I love to serve. Without a mindset that drives you to look at your work as fun, it's not going to work out for you. So make sure you know what your motivation is, what your passion is, and go from there. Goals can help you stay accountable and help you keep an eye on the bigger picture for the days where you feel unmotivated, unpassion unpassionate, is that a word? 
just basically for the days that you're like oh my gosh i don't know why like i don't want to do this anymore like, what am i even doing short-term goals long-term goals whatever they might be can help you stay focused and stay motivated to do what you want to do so for school because this is balancing school with social media do you want to get on the dean's list do you want to graduate with honors do you want to be cum laude set a goal for yourself and work toward it as well as a goal in your social media do you want to grow your page to a certain amount amount of followers do you want to eventually build up a clientele where you can start up a service or a business or something like that build those goals and have those goals in mind for the times when you lose motivation or when you don't know what you're passionate about exactly you could look back into your notes your planner for example i have this best self planner which is basically a goal oriented planner and it helps you you know stay focused on your goal you can find out more information in the video that i linked in the description below also it's important to know why these goals are important to you because you could say like oh i want to be on the dean's list but why what does that mean to you so for example if i want to be on the dean's list that means that i can bring it to my parents and say hey look this is what i'm doing out here i hope you guys are proud of me not that you need external validation for your work but it's just so nice personally for me to be like hey mom hey hey dad look i made it on dean's list last quarter and just seeing them so happy and so proud just makes me happy again you don't want to value your self-worth on reaching those goals or not but just know what about those goals would bring you happiness and bring you a little bit more fulfillment because that'll help propel you into doing your work be realistic know that we come with 24 hours in a day there's only so much we can do it is okay if you don't do everything that you want to do it is okay if you full-time at school maybe even part-time at school are not reaching up to par with a full-time blogger because understand everybody is on a different path they don't have school they blog that's their whole life so be realistic and give yourself credit where you can and give yourself some grace for when you can't do what you had planned to do what you wanted to do which leads into getting rid of an all or nothing idea of yourself and of your work don't just throw your hands up and say okay well <laughs> i can't post every day on instagram so i guess i shouldn't do it start where you can where you can and do what you can your followers the people that you influence will really understand and will continue to support you no matter what and people will love your journey as long as you are transparent and you are honest about hey i'm really busy i'm not I don't post a lot, but this is what I'm doing when I can. I feel like a lot of people draw inspiration from the realness, the fact that, hey, I can't post all the time or I wasn't able to do this because I had other life things to do. We're all human. We will understand your struggles and everything that you have to do. Make sure that you let go of that all or nothing, perfectionist, defeatist type of mindset because it's not going to bring you anywhere. Give yourself credit where credit is due and don't focus on your failures because that is not going to get you anywhere. So those are all my tips. I kind of wanted this to be short and concise but it ended up being longer than I thought. So to recap, keep a planner, know your priorities, have a motivation and a passion for the work that you do, have goals to keep you motivated and keep you moving forward, and have a positive mindset. One that's full of grace, forgiveness, and patience for yourself because when all is said and done, when there's so much stress accumulated, most people turn inwards and they start to blame themselves or they start to take out anger, stress, anxiety on themselves. But it's important to look at yourself gently, lovingly, and remember that you are doing everything in your power that you can and you're doing it for a higher cause. So those are my tips. Those are the things that I personally use and do as I am managing my social media accounts, my school and social life. So I hope this helped you. If it did, if you drew any inspiration from it, or if it made you smile at all, or if you nodded your head at all, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with anybody who you think this would be helpful with. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and keep those notification thingy ma bobbers on <laughs> so that you never miss another video from me again i hope you guys are having a wonderful morning noon day or night wherever you are and i i i will see you next time bye